this video, we're going to look at the two craters created on the surfaces of Venus and the Earth during the apocalypse impact. Because the event was electrical in nature, the features of the craters are surprisingly similar to the actual diagrams of a positive and negative polarity, as you will see. In other videos, I have shown that current flowed from Venus, making it the anode, and it flowed to the Earth, making the Earth a cathode. If these two planets were plugged into a circuit and a battery added in the middle, it would be placed like this, with the Earth on the bottom and Venus on the top. A negative charge of electrons flowed from the Earth to Venus, and current then flowed from Venus back to the Earth. Positive current. Negative charge. When the electrons of the negative charge from the Earth impacted the surface of Venus, they ionized the surface in the shape of a C, which is to say that when the electrons hit the surface of Venus, they turn the surface into a vapor-like cloud above the surface, leaving a chasm. The vaporization occurred where the electrons hit, and we can tell where they hit because they left the shape of a C in the surface of Venus. It is a C cup because that is the shape of a naturally occurring discharge rim at the electrode connection. It is what happens on the surface of an anode. This rim represents the connection of a plasma instability cupping the planet Venus. When the current from Venus impacted the surface of the Earth, it did so not in the shape of a C cup, but rather between the pincers in an opposite affectation. The ionized material from Venus hit the surface of the Earth in supersonic shock waves forming the Himalayan mountains and creating the Lichtenberg figures that we see in them. These figures are called Lichtenberg figures. They represent lightning-like strikes of material compressing down on the Earth. Venus formed a chasm in the shape of a sea. The Earth formed mountains between the pincers of the sea. Right here in the middle of the Terran Basin is a 46 degree clockwise thrust rotation in the crust, which indicates that this is where the current from Venus entered the Earth's crust. This is the actual location for the lower bulb on the Squatter Man figure. You, my friends, now know more about the geology of the Earth and Venus than nearly anybody in the world. That and 50 cents will get you a cup of coffee anywhere in America, baby. Wait a minute. Do you want fresh coffee? It's probably not coming with cream either, is it? Congratulations. Peace out and have a good one. Now that's some fire and brimstone, my friends. Don't you mean fire and brimstone? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Isn't it?